It's Richard Bromwell here from Charterhouse Auctioneers. We're going to have a walk and a talk through our huge, great big three day auction coming up on November the 30th, December the 1st, and the 2nd. Now, first up, we have hundreds of change, lots of choo choo trains. We have O Gauge, we have Trin Tricks, we have live steam we've also got these these are pretty i remember this as a, as a child the wonderful uh hornby stevenson's rocket there we go that's a big live steam but also something from my youth and a lot of this is about look at this sas beachhead attack action man i'm sure i had this this set here we go i'm not really quite certain what he's looking at but uh, uh certainly if you've been watching sas rogue heroes bang on for that through here we've got lots more trains we've got doll houses dolls houses we've also got luggage we've got louis vuitton because you've got the special christmas is coming the goose is getting fat maybe if you go off on your travels that's just exactly what you want for your louis vuitton case traveling down through here you've got lots of teddy bears this is a particular little favorite of mine lovely little bear here complete with his uh chair as well even got the uh, the owner's name tape probably when he took him to, to to school so there we go looking for a looking for a new owner there we go estimate on that charming little bear in chair um it's around about sort of 80 to 100 pounds down through here we've got more teddy bears this is i think this is a this is amorous couple bears down here i think having a nice little time there we've got crocodile skin suitcases we've got lots of furniture wonderful pair of uh carved and painted black and more lamps here we go with the chandelier fittings on the top here almost life size again down through here we've got more we've got more bear, more bear action in the auction uh, oh this is wonderful ash have do stop and have a look at this we've got a big collection of military come in and this is a wonderful uh, german 17th century wheel lock rifle beautiful inlay absolutely stunning estimate on that one round about the sort of three to five thousand pounds because we've got a huge amount of uh, medals and militaria down through here, we've got the cabinets going to come back to those in just a minute uh, down through here we've got clocks barometers we've got stamps that's it come on actually you've got to be quick uh they've got a little collection actually that's it not that quick <laughs> we've got a little collection of maritime it items and uh, these have always fascinated me it's a lamp but actually no it's a wall lamp so when you're uh when the seas are heavy that the, the light doesn't fall over what have you we've got white star line over through here we've got ceramics we've got glass we've got pottery we've got porcelain we've got portraits now these these actually are in our military. This is, uh, that's granddad and that is grandson. So a very distinguished military family. A uh, huge amount of interest in this very fine and dapper looking chap. He's sort of eight to 1200, but the, uh, the, the later he was um, uh, in the Southwest, South Wales borderers, got his military cross for that. And he's around about four to 600. Up through here, we've got chandeliers. We've got Dutch Delft. We've got cockerels. We've got lots of metalwares. We've got silver. We've got Chinese lamps. Up through here, we've got huge collect. We've got Japanese satsuma. We've got glasses. We've got carved wood girondales. We've got brass girondales. That's got cloisonne, Dresden, Staffordshire. Up through here, we've got paisley shawls. We've got Art Nouveau light fittings. We've got big elephants. There we go. They don't make any mess or need any exercise. Round through here, we've got a lot of clocks. We've got carriage clocks, we've got cuckoo clocks, we've got bracket clocks, we've got mantle clocks, we've got cartel clocks. And actually, this is quite appropriate because here's Ash filming on his very latest, I don't know, whatever, digital camera. We've actually got some plate cameras as well. And uh, there we go, what you'd have in the Victorian period. Lovely Victorian plate cameras, always such stunning quality. We've got microscopes, we've got American clocks down through here. We've got bohemian glass, we've got mice and ceramics, we've got Venetian glass. Down through here, more Staffordshire. You've got a lovely ship diorama. We've got Royal Crown Derby. We've got milliner's blocks. Down through here, we've got silver and plate through that's it keep on coming ash and we're going to pop on through uh to the to back to the main cabinets where i can just have a quick little look through and show you some of my favorite little bits and pieces so come on ash uh, through here we've got more flags leg and mutton cases bits and pieces as i say it's a huge auction of around about 1500 lots now because you've got christmas is just around the corner we've got a big selection of christmas gifts now that's a lovely look look at the dirt on that now you certainly wouldn't want to clean that lovely bottle of 63 port now if you're born in 1963 and yes that's even older than me um uh, then that make a perfect christmas present also in presents we've got jewelry so we've got a couple of lovely rings here we go we've got this beautiful um 
cabochon and sapphire uh, uh, ring. Here we go. Uh, along with the uh, diamond and sapphire ring as well. Uh, estimate on that, around about 1,000 to 1,500 on that one. The, the diamond ring, around about sort of six to 800 pounds. Now, as a Christmas is a, is, is a time of giving, you want to give someone you love something with a heart on it. Lovely uh, gold, diamond, enamel, and uh, mother of pearl, there we go. And other bits and pieces. And also we've got, we've got watches. Here we go, got a couple of lovely gentlemen's upside down. We've got a couple of lovely gents wrist watches. Here we go. We've got the Omega Speedmaster, sort of two to three thousand pounds. We've got the Rolex, a little oyster. Here we go. And a lovely little vintage oyster, around about sort of four to six hundred pounds. Also in the sale, we've got a big collection of Militaria. We've got a lovely, um, lovely lot, lot of silver. Here we go. And uh, this is a lovely arts and crafts bowl. And the estimate on that's around about sort of three to 400 pounds. Lovely hammer decoration. There we go. Um, then we've also got hundreds of lots of Militaria. We've got medals. This is a stunning, this is probably one of the best medals I've seen in a long time. This is a lovely Waterloo medal awarded to Major Evap, the 55th foot. Now we always like to go away and research our medals. Now we looked into him straight away. No one from the 55th foot was actually ever at Waterloo. So he went through, checked again, and he was the one person who was on some comment there. Estimate on that ran about four to 600 pounds. Serious interest from museums and collectors on that. And that's part of a hundreds of lots of medals. Also here from a collector down in Devon, we've got a lovely uh, uh, lots of helmets that so we've got English, we've got German. Estimate on that one there, late Victorian one, around about the four to six hundred pounds. Moving forward to the Second World War, we've got a, a lovely Fairburner Sykes uh, fighting knife. This is a Type 2, also known as a commando knife. Estimate on that, around about the sort of six to eight hundred pounds. And maybe something for your Christmas turkey, if you if you can get one this year, is this wonderful regimental Victorian, it's made by Elkington, silver plated dish cover there. So there's a quick little sort of walk and talk through all of our 1,500 lots coming up in the sale in our three day sale now. Thank you.